right, so yesterday um, I showed you how to mount uh, paper artwork onto a wooden cradle panel and I set it down overnight with some weights. So we're going to get rid of the very useful old dictionaries um, and now we have the artwork. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check around all the edges just to make sure there's no place where the paper is coming away from the cradle panel because if that were happening this all looks pretty good. Um, if that were happening I would want to um, add my line coat adhesive and uh, reweight it and wait another day. But so far this looks this looks good. So I have a box cutter. Um, I like it because it's it's thin to hold so you can get your hand you know relatively close to the edge as you're cutting. And I also have a self-healing uh, cutting mat so that as I do the cutting, uh, I don't have to worry about damaging my table. And I, I do keep the um, parchment paper underneath just so nothing happens to the artwork itself. This has been well loved over the years and it, it has a lot of uh, grooves and, and rough spots on the surface. So uh, in order to do this, uh, I find if I just, you know, make sure I'm not in a rush. I never try to do any of this stuff while I'm in a rush. And uh, I just take a nice inhale, set my knife, and then as I exhale, just run it along. And it's usually good with one cut. Do that again, nice inhale. Easy to do it on one exhale, inhale, and then a nice exhale. Now this probably makes some nice collage material, like right there, that's, a, that's an interesting piece of collage paper. So I'll hold on to those and I will cut them up, put them in my stash. Notice I've sliced through there, but now when I look at this, I have a nice clean edge. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to do along here. I like to just check it and make sure oh, there's a little tiny piece that could be removed. Everything else looks pretty good. It's just one little corner. The only thing worse than trying to have a good edge is to try to make it better, right? All right, and now what the plan is, I'm going to just reuse this piece of parchment paper, is uh, I'm going to use some polymer medium, and I'm going to apply that to the surface, making sure I don't have any things I don't want on there. I kind of, I really do kind of like the way this turned out. That's probably the orientation I'm going to uh, exhibit it in. And um, this, I mean, the surface, it, you know, is pretty fragile. It's just paper and paint and you could easily scratch it, which you don't want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer of this polymer medium gloss and it's just an acrylic medium. You can use uh, self-leveling gel, which is also made by Golden. You can use pouring medium, which is made by Liquitex. Anything that is self-leveling. And if it's self-leveling, it means when you brush it on, it doesn't hold the brush stroke. So therefore, it'll clear, it'll dry to a, a smooth surface and you won't have a bunch of textured brush marks. It'll just be a protective coating. Get a nice, soft, clean brush. 
Again, just give it one more look over. And has a nice uh, milky kind of look to it. It does dry clear, so no worries there. You don't want to put it on so thick that it's like in pools. Thick enough that it's going to protect your work. And give it a good look. Make sure you get along all the edges. And you can see it's got a little bit of cloudiness to it. Again, once it dries, that will be 100% clear. It really lifts the colors right up, uh, brightens up your work. That looks good. Oh, that little corner could use a little bit. And again, I can plop it on there, but it's going to want to level itself out. It's kind of a great thing about the chemistry of this stuff. And simple enough. Now I just let it dry. I let it dry overnight. Um, and then I will uh, show you how I finish it with the final coating that gives it a nice satin finish because this is going to uh, dry into a high gloss finish, which some people like. And this can be a final coat, or you can add a uh, gloss varnish over top if that's what you like. Um, I like a more satin finish, and I'm going to show you how I do that. But I got to wait 24 hours for it to dry. All right. Hope this was helpful.